France v Germany in the World Cup. For many people here in France, that means only one thing. 1982, Patrick Battiston in on goal. The German goalkeeper Schumacher out, karate kicks him in the chest. He's flat on the floor, it's not even a yellow card. And the Germans win on penalties. Four years later, Mexico 86, the semi-final. Germany wins again. But now here in France, they hope it could be their turn. The papers are full of the promise of a new, young, talented generation. And could this man, Karim Benzema, once again be France's lethal weapon? But what do they think about the match over in Germany? Tell you what, let's find out. Because this is actually the Franco-German border. There's no border post because we're in the European Union, but just about 50 metres down the road and I'm in Germany. And at this border crossing, at least, there are certainly more flags on the German side. And in the German papers, well, inevitably a slightly different focus. A lot of attention on this man, the coach, Yogi Löw. What's he going to do? What tactics is he going to employ? And in particular, is it right to play the captain, Philipp Lahm, in midfield rather than defence? Qui va gagner? La France. Pourquoi? Parce qu'on est les meilleurs. He says he thinks France will win because they've got the better players. He thinks it'll be 3-0 to Germany. This doesn't really feel like a border at all anymore. It's like an invisible line. France and Germany cooperate on almost everything. But for one of them tonight, in Brazil, it's going to end in heartache.